you will find joy at LA Art Show. Canvas here become a dynamic platform for a variety of vibrant spectacles and art discoveries for your home. It is here that you can make new friends and celebrate the hip social lifestyle of Los Angeles. I'm here in front of this beautiful piece uh, interviewing the artist Mark. Um, basically the reason why it really intrigued me is this woman looks like she's encapsulated in this watery chest. Like what's happening? Is she distressed? Like uh, the emotions you feel have just captured me and I was intrigued by it. Mr. Brainwash, never, never give up. I think the piece speaks for itself. Love is all we need. It's uh, quite a spectacle and I particularly love the way in which the paint carries out to the edge of the frame. I'm Alessandra Pirelli. I come from Italy and I want to show you my work. Uh, this puppy uh, are my love and I have a passion with uh, animals and uh, I, I, I want to do it in a very special way so I just made the form with uh, polystyrene and then I put pins wall pins and uh, like glue a final word varnish with resin i'm reviewing a nicolette spear painting this is an oil painting on canvas and it is on the subject of the human relationship to technology these applications that are featured over the surface of this baby's body are applications that show up when you search for child or children or kids this is not necessarily negative or positive. It poses a question. What do you think about our relationship to technology? Hey, I'm reviewing artists tonight at the LA Art Show, and this beautiful painting by Piamonte, an Italian artist, really struck me. I, I'm attracted very much to portraits. And when you look at this painting from a distance, it looks like it has a lot of details, but up, but up close, there's a lot of line art, there's butterfly, it's mixed media. There's a lot of texture and wonderful colors, a lot of layering. It's a gorgeous piece. I just absolutely love it. Viewing artist Doug Fischer. Um, so I just stepped uh, in this booth um, looking at this piece, marble piece, that Doug crafted, I'm assuming by hand. So here we have the incredible artwork by Larissa Safarian. This one, it makes you feel as though you're sitting in a secret garden, just admiring the beauty around you, but also the fragility that comes with the eggshells and the intricate design throughout everything. They make you feel peaceful and happy at the same time. My name is Journey, and today I'm talking about Sabine's painting. I really love the emotion that I get from her painting. It reminds me of an era of my life where I felt lost, but now I'm found. So um, I connected with it when I first saw it. Kudos to you, congrats to you, you made something beautiful, and I can't wait to see more of your work. This painting is called The Golden Age, and it's about each of us are learning how to honor ourselves and honoring each other and that's when the golden age happens when each of us respects each other just the way we're made in pure perfection hi uh, we're talking about artist mojo's work today what i like about this is the texture how the artist got so many colors together and without, you know, looking like mushy. So as an artist myself, that is what I like, is the texture of it and the ability to keep the color palette without smushing it together and making it look like pea soup.